That is a big red flag for me when I start looking at that and realizing that that technology does exist today. There are also those who believe that what's going on with the environment, with the global warming hoax, scam, reality, whatever you want to call it, the chemtrails, obviously they're corrupting our soils, the genetically modified foods, obviously they're manipulating DNA as in the days of Noah. Are they in fact trying to terraform this planet for Lucifer, the Lucifer's world? Absolutely. You hit it right on the head. In fact, that's a, that's a phrase or a term that I've used many times. This new race of beings that is so openly promoted in popular culture to ascend to this new race of beings. And they are designing a new environment that will not support human 1.0, but will support human 2.0. And as you see in Scripture, we know that at least a third of mankind will be killed off, and that's reflected in their own Georgia Guidestones. The other aspect of the, the um, terraforming is within the aerosolized spraying are nanoparticles that are dormant that will form a third strand of DNA once they are activated through the 5G Wi-Fi system that we are fully immersed in throughout the planet now. That 5G, if through free will you choose to take the mark of the beast, that will activate, the 5G will activate the dormant nanoparticles within all of us and begin to replicate this third strand of DNA thus plugging you into the sentient world simulation, SWS, which is a digital reality that is operated by D-Wave's quantum computers, which are interdimensional computers. And this will then plug you into that matrix, into that hive mentality. We're already part of the sentient world simulation in the sense that we are being monitored. Every person, seven billion plus people are represented within this Purdue University program, SWS, represented as a node and given an avatar. And we are monitored and thus providing algorithms of human behavior, algorithms as to how our brains operate to the deep machine learning of the AI system. Back in 2019, Wuhan, China became the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. Ironically, the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic in Wuhan coincided with the initial introduction of 5G, pulse phased ray technology. Most people are not aware that Wuhan, China served as the host of the Military World Games that same year. Documents state that the Military World Games took place with the 5G infrastructure in place and operational. This document reveals Wuhan, China serving as the 5G pilot city, where it states that by the end of the year 2018, over 3,000 macro base stations, in addition to over 27,000 micro base stations, would be constructed throughout the city of Wuhan. As stated, the trial use of the 5G technology was expected to be accessible to users at the Military World Games in Wuhan, China in 2019. This is an article from 10 years ago. Sentient World, War Games on the Grandest Scale. The VOD is developing a parallel to planet Earth with billions of individual nodes to reflect every man, woman and child this side of the dividing line between reality and AR. It's absolutely indistinguishable, even at the very you know, microscopic levels. You could recreate an entity that's, even if you looked inside of it, its simulated brain would be processing information just the way I do. Deep State has merged the quantum computer with the sentient world simulation. And the true reason for all this data collection is to feed it into this AI machine to predict and manipulate the course of humanity. Their ability to look at data in a quantum, artificial intelligence manner, it's just going to be an unstoppable monster. And this is bizarre 
because we don't see those other things. But science has reached the point now where we can build machines that exploit those other worlds. What they're worlds. going to do is apply this machine to an area that I think is fundamentally important. It's the crux of our future as humans. And that's, can we build machines like us? We can model every single atom, every single molecule with a three-dimensional structure in your entire brain. That level of precision will keep advancing to the point where it's absolutely indistinguishable, even at the very, you know, microscopic levels. So you could recreate an entity that's, even if you looked inside of it, it's simulated brain would be processing information just the way I do. If you start looking at quantum computing and where it's going, it's pretty freaky sort of stuff. And thinking about the world as an electrical universe and the fact that we are energetic electrical beings, that's how we work. Everything is electrical. Every signal that runs through our body is electricity. Everything, every thought we have, everything we feel, every touch, every Thing we speak it's all the result of electromagnetic signals floating around our body impulses that come from our heart from our brain the way we feel a bench when we touch it this is an electrical signal that's sent to your brain that tells you what the bench feels like so it's all electromagnetics it's all firing of electromagnetism through our synapses and all this sort of stuff the adiabatic quantum computer is linked to seven billion human brains it is now in its own language of cryptology able to function independent of any oversight throughout the world with its own form of communication, its own form of code. And it is able to link everyone on the planet at this point. We can model every single atom, every single molecule with a three-dimensional structure in every single brain. They claim they've modeled the personality of every adult in the United States, 230 million people. open up for us the possibility of unheard of vistas for life prolongation and longevity and also unheard of vistas for the extension and, and this is Kurzweil's own observation I'm not making this up right for the extension of human consciousness to the universe and to a degree of participation in the lives the emotional lives and thoughts of others via computer technologies, via implants, interfaces, and so on and so forth. So they're really talking about the recovery of that lost unity. And they're, they're talking about it in terms of, you know, what the alchemists themselves talked about in terms of, of engineering all of this via a technology, via the philosopher's stone, which the grim technologies represent this for the transhuman. I think, I think this is a fundamentally um, spiritual impulse. I hate to say religious impulse because I well, don't think that does service. Mm. Uh, it, it, but it almost is, though. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. This is what they're talking about. It's kind of a situation where technology has become both the means to the end and the end, yeah. in other words, God. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's, that's the disturbing 